It gives a great hands-on experience as opposed to just hearing it lectured about or reading about it in a book and it really just makes it all come together. It makes so much more sense than just reading it out of a book ever could really. Thanks to the generosity of, of our former students, we went from a truly antiquated and almost defunct set of equipment to what we have now. And it, it really is state of the art. It is just a beautiful lab. You're saying how much we appreciate what they've made possible and, and how much students are enjoying and, and benefiting from this lab. Um, so. Basically, we're exploring how animals learn, specifically our rats, and then I think by the end of the semester we're supposed to be able to look at that and see how that applies to human behavior as well. Well, essentially what we're getting them to do is to learn how to press the bar to get food. And so it's just taking them through that process of learning that if I press the bar, I get food. Okay, this is called a Skinner box, and um, the rat will go into it. And then basically, um, when she pushes the lever, is when a pellet from back here is supposed to come down into a little dish there. Students have used that have used the new equipment have found it wonderful to use. So I, I think we're in a unique position of having. Um, really, uh, I think one of the nicest labs that exists in terms of equipment, uh, housing facilities, and uh, just the resources for students to do not only what is required in the manual uh, that, that I've, I've written, but also they're doing creative studies that we encourage them to do after they finish their labs. Um, we're doing different types of learning with it. Like, we're doing different stimuli with um, the food coming in and types of bar presses, noises. So it's centered around them learning when and how to get the food. Um, I mean, in the beginning, it can take a little bit of time because we have to get their weight down safely, obviously. And then the first experiment, which we did today, um, she doesn't really know what to do yet at all, like she has no idea that there's a lever even and to push it. So that can take a while, but I think once you get the first couple done, then the rest just come pretty easily. What it tells us is how animals learn, how they you know, learn how to press a bar to get food, just how learning occurs over a course of time and how things can be unlearned also as well. They are seeing behavior unfold and, and it's not canned, it's not in a computer, it's the real fact that students really bond with the rats. I mean, there is a personal bond that's formed there, but it's a memorable experience personal, personal wise because they're responsible, once they get the rats, they have to, seven days a week, they have to feed those rats and water those rats. I mean, I, it's not my responsibility. And if they can't be there on the weekend, they'll work out with somebody else taking care of the rats. So, it also is training and responsibility because they are responsible. And I, I have never had a student say, I'm not going to do that, or, or that's too much responsibility. They've done it, and um, it's worked out. So I think there's sort of two aspects of this. One educational, one maybe personal, social. Fantastic. I absolutely love the psych department here. Um, I transferred mainly because the one at my old college wasn't up to par, and so when I was looking at schools, the psychology department here really looks like they care about their students, they're more than willing to give um, any help that the student may need, and that's what really drew me here, and they've been nothing but fantastic since I've gotten here. And when I see students like Kara and Kaya coming in, and I saw them in there when I went working away, and I said, this, this is, it doesn't get any better than this. Um, I think one of my favorite things is each of the professors. They all like really take the time to make sure that everything is well understood, and they all are just have their own different personalities, and they're all great in their own ways. But I don't um, know that there are many schools that have the facilities that we have now in in that learning lab. Uh, Here we are, thanks to our our wonderfully generous, generous alums, we have four. And a, and a central computer, I mean, it, it's just wonderful. The other time, I, I hope that they would come back to see what they were part of. Because we, it wouldn't have happened without 
without their generosity. And it really speaks well for the alums. They are so dedicated and committed to, to this place.